Welcome to Criminology F&M for today let's us understand another vice which is about smoking. For today's video our objectives includes understanding what is smoking, short historical background of tobacco, and the effects of smoking. And of course if you learned something in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video to your friends. Let's dive into the world of tobacco. What is smoking? Smoking is the act of inhaling the fumes from a burning substance, specifically tobacco. The term smoking can be broadly used to describe the act of inhaling and exhaling the smoke of burning substances, including non-tobacco products. Tobacco, by the way, is scientifically known as Nicotiana tobaccum, and the first European to discover smoking was Christopher Columbus. Moving to the history of tobacco, the story of tobacco begins in the ancient Americas, where indigenous tribes cultivated it for medicinal and ceremonial purposes. Then, with the advent of European explorers in the 15th century, tobacco crossed the Atlantic, finding a new home in the Old World. Initially, Europeans embraced tobacco as a medicinal plant, attributing to it a variety of healing properties. But as the 16th and 17th centuries rolled on, perceptions began to shift. Tobacco transformed from a healing herb into a luxury good, savored by the elite in ornate pipes and snuff boxes. As time passed by, cigars, cigarettes, and chewing tobacco became commonplace, and smoking was woven into the fabric of daily life. However, it should be noted that smoking tobacco brings numerous problems. With that short history, let us now understand the effects of smoking. According to the article entitled Health Effects, ND, by Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Smoking can lead to various health problems and it harms organ of the body. Effects of smoking includes cancer, heart disease, stroke, lung diseases, diabetes, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema and chronic bronchitis, tuberculosis, certain eye diseases, and problems of the immune system. Moreover, the said article stipulated that secondhand smoking contributes to approximately 41,000 deaths among non-smoking adults and 400 deaths in infants each year. Secondhand smoke also causes stroke, lung cancer, and coronary heart disease in adults. In summary, we've journeyed through the smoky trails of tobacco's history, from its origins as a sacred and medicinal plant to its transformation into a global epidemic. We've explored how smoking, once a symbol of sophistication and rebellion, has become a leading cause of diseases such as cancer, heart disease, stroke, and lung diseases. We've also delved into the dangerous impacts of secondhand smoke, causing numerous deaths among non-smoking adults and infants each year. Our exploration has shed light on the ongoing fight against tobacco use and the efforts to raise awareness about its deadly effects. As we conclude, let's remember the power of knowledge. Knowledge equips us to make informed decisions and take control of our lives. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing exploration. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay smoke-free.